All right, guys. Well, welcome to this motivational message. Carrie Robertson here from Houston, Texas. And, you know, I want to just share with you tonight um, a, a little bit about what's going on in my heart, because as you know, this team, we, we believe in personal development. We believe in leadership. We believe in the personal growth. And so every month we do a book of the month. And so if you're new, just know this is the book we're doing right now, which is Switch on Your Brain by Dr. Caroline Leaf. Um, but every month there's a new book. And when I learned it was this one, I have to tell you, I am I was very excited because if you're not familiar with Dr. Caroline Leaf, she is a neuroscientist that um, has just studied the brain and more importantly, the mind. And so, you know, I authored a book myself and the title of that book is Your Words Create Your World. And so her work, I love it because I'm not a doctor and I'm not a neuroscientist and I'm not any of those things. I'm just a girl who had complete total faith and trust and belief that God made me to be somebody special. And he put inside of me the truth of your words really do create your world. And I learned that very early in life. And so it's been the motto of my life. Um, and so whenever I began to study Dr. Caroline Leaf's work, I found it quite fascinating that um, she has done intensive, and I'm not just talking like um, conversation with people. I'm talking like the study of the brain, right? And all these things. And so as I began to really understand, we do, and I wanted to help you understand tonight too, your brain and your mind are two to to totally different things because people are like, wait, really? Yes, really. And this is not me talking. This is Dr. Caroline Leaf and many other neuroscientists that have studied. And so, you know, she talks about your non-conscious brain that's gathering all the time. Your conscious is awake and you choose from your conscious state of mind and your unconscious is when you're asleep. And so, you know, whenever I was particularly reading this book and I've been listening to a bunch of her teachings lately, she says that 75 to 98% of our health and our physical state of our well-being is based on our thoughts. Now, people always tell me, Carrie, do you really believe your words create your world? I can tell you a thousand times over, I've seen it and I know it's truth. So, you know, I'm not the girl that says fake it till you make it. That's not me. I'm saying change the words you speak and you can change everything in your world. And <clears throat> we have power in our, word, our world by our words. I'm just telling you, you can, if you don't like the life you're living today, change what you're saying. And for some people, I'll tell them, you know, she talks in here about a 21 day brain detox, how you can get rid of negative thoughts because of the fact we have so much information coming at us all day long. We sometimes have to retrain the brain, right? We have to get rid of some detox, some, some, um, horrible thoughts. But she said, you know, if you say this, I can't, well, you're right. And that's a decision because you could say I can Right. But we we've been taught to be victims of our circumstances. And so where we were at, you know, what happened to us as a child, how we were born into this world, you know, all those things can stack up against us. But the truth is, is that anybody can overcome. Anybody can begin to create a new future. And so it's if you say it's it's hard. I have people that say, well, Carrie, I just can't talk to people the way you do. It's so hard. Now, guys, you have to hear me out when I say this. When I got started and I was, I mean, I was fired up about this new profound life that I was going to live through direct sales. Here's what I know. The very first time that my friend said, Hey, thank your friends for coming tonight. And I stood in front of them, my four friends, all of a sudden, all I knew is they had eight eyeballs <laughs> and I was terrified and I ran out of the room crying. Now you can put me on a stage with in front of 50,000 people. And I'm not going to cry. In fact, I'm actually going to be exhilarated. The thought of being able to share my heart with that many people is electrifying in a very positive way. Because see, as a little girl, that was a dream I had tucked inside of me. I had this reoccurring dream that I would speak to thousands of people. So in that moment of going, oh my gosh, there, there's eight eyeballs, right? I was hardwired to go run, run, run away. But you know what? I had somebody the next week that said, hey, tonight, you're going to introduce me. And I went, no, oh, there's a lot more people for one. And I was like, no, don't you remember how that went? But you see, I had shared with her my hopes and dreams. 
And so just like a, a mama eagle pushing the baby out of the nest and watching it either fly or die, she was like, go for it. You're going to do great. And so, you know, sometimes we need other people to encourage us along the way, but I will be the first to tell you, she couldn't be with me 24 hours a day. I had to begin to encourage myself and I had to believe that what I dreamed of and those things that were inside of me that I wanted, which honestly, when I said yes to this, you know what I wanted? I wanted cash Christmas. I didn't really want cash Christmas. Let's just be honest. I wanted a way to buy some Christmas presents because I had a six and a half year old little boy who wasn't going to have Christmas. And so that's what I wanted. It was this time of year and I wanted that. And I got so much more because I did it afraid. I did it. I just rewired the brain. I wrote myself sticky notes. I talked to myself all day long with positive thoughts versus the self-doubt and the I can't. Because if I told myself it was going to be hard, it was going to be hard. If I told myself I couldn't do it, I couldn't do it, right? I was getting exactly what I put out into the world. So I began, because what I found there is exactly what she says, is I was using the power of my words incorrectly. So I tell people, get you some belief cards, write on a sticky notes, put it on your mirror, put it on your desk at work, put it wherever you need to read it, those things in which you need to tell yourself, those things in which you need to change. Because for years I've told people, you don't understand the power of your words, but if you start paying attention to them and you start changing them, things start to shift in a positive direction. And so I tell people, try me, try me in this department. Um, the neuroscientist says it takes 21 days to detox your brain and she's, she's got it proven. So, you know, I'm telling you a month from now, your life can look totally different in everything. And I'm not just talking about finances, but finances play a big role because I meet people all the time that all they talk about is how broke they are, how broke they are, how broke they are <laughs> and broke people are usually broken. And so then it's all the other emotions that go along with it. And so, you know, I, I tell people like, careful with your words, be careful with your words, because you can say, I am blessed. I am absolutely blessed. And I live a life of abundance. Continually tell yourself that retrain your brain to believe that. And then because you're going to change your environment and people go, what does, what does that mean? Just trust me on this because doors will open for you. See, have you ever noticed that negative people, people repel? I really want you to think about that for a second. Negative people who are always sick, always broke, always woe is me. People find a way to repel. They stay away. Oh yeah, no, we can't, we can't do that. Sorry. We're busy this weekend, you know, or all that versus people being drawn to you. And so people will be drawn to you if you start to have a different outlook on life. And this works in everything. It works with your kids in your relationship with them. It works in your marriage with your spouse it works in your finances. It works in your employer employment. It works everywhere. And so I want to encourage you that you begin to use your power correctly. The power of your words can absolutely change something for you. And so just know that as you continue to go through it, you're going to find that there are a lot of a lot of things that you can gain and a lot of positive. And I'm just going to tell you guys, if you haven't picked up this book, I want you to just go on Amazon and get it. Switch your switching on your brain. It is really, really good because it even, even biology, you know, it, it's on the back here. It says you're not a victim of your biology. I'm telling you, it's fascinating when people begin to comprehend what you have the power to do. And so, you know, I think back to, well, I'm going to pull up a slide here. Let's pull up this one first. Because, you know, I started at this time of the year and whenever I told my friend, I said, look, I need four to $600 a month as much as I need air to breathe. That's my exact words to her. Now I needed health. I needed wellness. I needed nutrition. I needed weight loss. I needed all those things. But what I really needed in that moment was to be able to pay the student loan debt. That bill was almost $600 a month and it felt like it was just strangling us. And so I needed that. And so she told me, Carrie, if you will do what I tell you to do and you will follow our system, I can help you. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do now. Tell me what to do next. That's exactly what I told her. I didn't say, well, um, if it's convenient or if I, if I decide that I feel like it, I will. No, 
I needed what she had and she was successful. And so I was willing to do whatever. I'm going to tell you in that first six weeks, we earned $3,000. I had my first cash Christmas. Now, there was something else really cool that happened because I followed a system. So if you're sitting here right now and you need things to change, don't say, oh, lucky for them. Lucky for those guys getting those big bonuses. You know, they're always winning. Change your words, change your words, rewire your thoughts because your brain is your brain. Your brain takes in, I was looking for that quote, your brain has, oh, this is fascinating. Because whenever you um, go, oh my goodness, your brain has, I think it's 3 million, uh, oh, 3 million years of space in your brain to accept or reject information, scientifically proven. 3 million years. Your brain's big. Here's the thought. The mind is what controls the brain. It's fascinating. I'm telling you, you should read the book. So if your mind has these all these negative thoughts and the, oh, good for them, good for them, good for them, change it to say, I'm going to. See, it's better than saying I can't. I'm going to. Start to have a different belief system. I'm going to. I can and I will. Right? I mean, it's just a simple change of words. Instead of I can't, I can. See, I tell people, even the word impossible says I'm possible. I am. I mean, it's, it's reality. Change the words. Change the way you see things. Begin to speak things. And so if you're in a place right now that financially you need things to change, why not you and why not now? This $18,900 isn't for one person. It's not, hey, whoever gets to the top the fastest can capture it all. Every single person can hit ranks and accumulate bonuses. Every person. So go get it. Because here's the cool thing, as you work on achieving those bonuses, here's what's happening right now. We have not one, but two trips to Mexico. And guys, there is plenty of time to earn this. So you see this trip right here with Steve and Gina, our whole This Is It team is to Puerto Vallarta. There's also a trip through the corporate side for, to Cancun. So you can go to Mexico twice, all expenses paid. Now here's the really cool thing. When I learned about this industry, Instead of saying, I can't, when my girlfriend said, Carrie, there's a trip to Maui and it's in six weeks. Do you want to go? Do you want to earn it? Now, I could have very easily said, mm, I can't. In fact, I actually said to her, well, I've been around enough to know that usually only the top leaders in a company get to go. To which she said, not true. The only way I can go is if I help somebody new get there. And I went, Hmm. Okay. She goes, so you get to decide if it's you or if it's someone else. We have this week to qualify and we have two pay periods to earn it. So a total of four weeks to earn it. She didn't tell me the trip had been going on for months. People had been working their tail feathers off. It was irrelevant. She knew what she was capable of doing if she helped me and I had people to share it with. So guess what? We earned $3,000 and a trip to Maui. That led to us earning 45 all expense paid trips around the world. Here's the coolest thing ever for you. We have plenty of time to earn this because we have until January 21st for the team incentive and a little bit longer for the corporate incentive. Here's what's really cool about this. It is the lowest bar I have ever seen set on an incentive trip from corporate or a team leader. So I tell you that because there's great hope for you, but it starts now. It starts with changing the words you speak. It starts with saying, you know what? I'm going to have a different mindset. Why not me? Why not now? Why not Mexico? You know, you might be the couple like my, my best friend, Diane and Danny, that sponsored us into this business here in LifeWave. You know, they had never had a honeymoon. And so when you think about the, the desires of when a person sees something like this, guys, I'm telling you, once you've stepped foot on a place that you've never been before, you can't unsee what you see. Because that first trip to Maui, changed my life. I was a little girl who grew up in West Texas for crying out loud. Six flags over Texas was my family vacation. But the moment that I got to Maui, I couldn't imagine the smell and the water and all the things. And it was overwhelming. And I made a decision right then the world was a beautiful place and I was going to see it. And so I'm just telling you right now, we have time to help you earn this trip. We have time to help you earn this money. So decide tonight, you know what? Why not me? Begin to change the words you speak because the words you speak matter. I'm telling you, 
I, whether you are a believer or not, I'm a strong believer. And here's what I know. The word of God tells us that life and death are in the power of tongue. So everything you're saying is either bringing forth life or bringing death. And when you start to really understand that when speaking to your children, when speaking to your spouse, when speaking to your mom, your brother, your sister, your best friend, the person at the store waiting on you, right? You never know what people are dealing with, but you have always have the opportunity to speak life or spew death is what I like to call it. So I want to encourage you speak life, but here's what I know. Even people sometimes that speak life over other people continually speak death over themselves, over who they are. Well, here's what I'll tell you. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. That's what I believe. So begin to believe the things that you, you know, that's truth about you and say, you know what? I might not have done everything right, but I get a new start because even though our brain stores 3 million years, has 3 million years of space to store stuff, like that's quite fascinating to me <laughs> because I'm thinking, oh my goodness, it, there's always a renewing of your mind and it happens every single day because your brain is big and it's a massive computer. Your mind controls your will, your thoughts, your emotions. So pay attention to the words you speak, pay attention to the life you want to live, write it out on paper, put it on sticky notes. I'm a huge, huge advocate of having dream boards, vision boards, but a plan of action, not just a, oh, somebody's going to show up with an Escalade and leave it at my front door. Like, no, but you know what? Think about the things you want and then use this vehicle called LifeWave to share with a great, positive, life-changing message with others and watch those things begin to evolve and take place. It's fascinating and I've seen it for 30 years and I'm telling you, you're nobody different. God's no respecter of person. What he's done in my life, what he's done in Steve and Gina's, what he's done in, in all the leaders here in LifeWave, you can do it for you. It's a decision. And I tell people it starts with you deciding. When you make a decision and then you take action on it and you watch the words you speak and you bring forth life, people are attracted to you. I mean, it is as if you are this glowing orb, even though I said people say I don't glow, right? But I mean, I, everywhere I go, I was at the bank the other day. I paid a lady a compliment and she turned and our eyes connected. And that was it. X39 was on her knee, right? Because we started in a conversation. And all it was is that whenever you believe people are put in your path and your job is to open your mouth and have 20 seconds of courage. Last thing I'll tell you, my daughter just went on a cruise and and she sat with a couple every night at dinner. And um, I told her the last night there, she was like, they're so lovely. They're this or that. And I said, have you shared LifeWave? And she's like, no, not yet. I said, you have, you have two options. Come tomorrow night. And she goes, okay. I said, here's what I know. The couple's from India. The couple, he's in research pharmaceuticals, right? He's in big pharma, whatever. I said, here's what I know is that you have a couple that's from India that lives in New Jersey. You live in Houston. You can share with him what you do and invite him to take a look or you can and come home and have 20 seconds of courage to do that. I go, or you can never say a word and truth be told, you'll never see him again another day in your life. But you've spent five days getting to know this couple and you really, you like them. And I said, so you get to decide, but we don't know the outcome. We don't know if they'll say yes and be a part of your life forever. But I guarantee you one thing, if you don't open your mouth and have 20 seconds of courage, say goodbye and never see them again. And so she opted to share and it was absolutely a life-changing conversation. And so I tell people, I'm like, you never know until you open your mouth because people are always looking. They're looking for hope. They're looking for a better life. They're looking for things. And so many people are just going through the motions of life going, man, lucky for those guys because nobody's opened their mouth and shared with them the goodness. So I encourage you share that. I encourage you to get to Mexico. I encourage you be on this trip with us to Puerto Vallarta. Corporate trips are amazing, but here's what I know. Team trips like this too, guys, every bit of both of these trips are going to be life-changing for you a hundred percent. But I do know when you're around a core group of people headed in the right direction, making an impact on the world, nothing compares to it. So you can go on and fill out the team incentive trip it's at this is it convention.com. Go in there, get your stuff set up. Do this tonight because here's what I know you don't want to get to the finish line and go, man, I wish I would have. And I didn't know how close I was. 
You got to see where you're at. You got to understand what it takes and then get with the leader that you're working with and say, help me get there because this is available to you. And this is a very low bar to hit. And the coolest thing is if you're not senior director yet, that's a thousand dollar rank up bonus. Why not get it done before January the 7th, get the bonus money and the trip. I'm just telling you, like it fires me up. So I hope it fires you up. And then you want to send your completed tracker into promo at this is it team.com. And so they, you know, here's what I tell people, do it now, send it in because it matters. What it does is it, it takes that first step of action. First step, right? That's the most important thing is you've got to take the action and then you start to do the work that gets you there. So it's like saying, okay, I'm going to do this because I believe I'm going and then I'm going to get to work and I'm going to go make it happen. So do that first, get it sent in. And then, like I said, if you don't have this book, I encourage you to get it, read it before the first of the year, before we kick off a new book, you'll be grateful that you did. I don't care who you are. This right here is fascinating, absolutely fascinating to learn what she has, what she tells you and explains to you. And so um, it's, it's incredible. So I've followed her for many, many years. And, you know, even when I think back and I think about, you know, my work in my book, my book is very practical. It's life application. It's, it's stories. It's things that I've lived through with people. Um, but then to see how much it coincides with the neuroscience factor, the proven factor. And so, and of course, I, I just think it plays a huge role in what we do here um, whenever we believe, because the truth is, as people go, how does this work? Well, I don't know. It just does. You know, how does the brain work? I don't know that either, but I know it works, right? And so does the mind and so does all the other things. And so I don't have to know all the answers. I just have to know that my words matter. And so this book can help you get on the right track to changing some of that stuff. And then once again, don't leave out this is it convention.com. Guys, get there. I'm telling you, you will never, ever, ever see success like you want to see it if you don't commit and get there. I've never once seen it. And here's what I, you know, somebody once told me, they go, Carrie, I've been before. Listen, I've never missed um, a big event in all 30 years. Never. I don't care what was happening. And people that will give you excuses upon excuses upon excuses of why they can't go. Every single February, it was my son's birthday. You just heard me say it's my 80. Mom's going to turn 82. Well, guess what? I'm not going to be with mom because I'm going to be sharing. This is it. Convention is going to set you up to win. But you've got to commit because it's little things like this. It's the things you catch that are just, you know, some things are caught, not taught. But in the teaching, you catch them. And so it's going to be different because even if you've been to the convention in Tampa or Orlando, here's what I know. Something else will be said that is just for you at this very moment that takes you to the next level. We have never walked out of an event like this that our check didn't increase because of something we learned and we've never missed one in 30 years. That ought to tell you. And, and I tell people all the time, I go, here's reality. It was my son's birthday, right? There was, there was weddings, there was other things we missed. We had a priority. And that's because whenever you sit back and I go, I'm never gonna ask a person to do what I'm not willing to do. The minute this event was announced, I had a ticket. Steve and Gina can verify. Day one, ticket, purchased. Why? Because this matters. My daughter, ticket purchase because she's building a business. My mom, ticket purchase, right? Everybody, this matters. And what you do, then you can in turn invite others to do. But I'm never, I'm not going to lead from a hypocritical state where I'm like, you get your ticket and then go, oh, well, I'll get mine later and never get it. And then make an excuse. Just, just learn. There's certain things in life you got to show up for. And I've always said this. Could you imagine if on this day, everybody had a ticket and all the top leaders decided, oh, you know, we got something more important to do. Who are you going to learn from? It's a sacrifice to be a leader, to pay it forward. And so I just encourage you, get a ticket so that you in turn can pay it forward because you never know the person that you're going to share this with and what it could mean for them. Trust me, I'm telling you, it can be life-changing just by sharing it with one. So get your ticket. I am thanking you so much from the bottom of my heart for spending some time with me tonight. And um, I pray that this makes a huge impact on you, that you're setting up 2024 to be your best year ever. I know that this team is absolutely going to do everything in our power to make sure that you have the resources and the support you need. 
And so I just want to help you encourage you more than anything, change your way of thinking, change the words and expect to win. Guys, there's nothing else like LifeWave. That much I can guarantee you. I've seen a lot. This is special. This is incredible. And for such a time as this, you are here in the right place. And so I just want to encourage you, dig out those hopes and dreams. Let's get fired up and let's absolutely go change the world and take this to a billion homes and beyond. Because in that process, as you put others first, I promise you everything that you want in life becomes an automatic by helping other people win. That's the how of what we do here. So thank you so much for your time tonight. Um, I pray this blesses you. Good night and God bless. Thanks guys.